Introduction to Coordinate Proof. Our objective is to position figures in the coordinate plane for use in a coordinate proof, as well as prove geometric concepts by using coordinate proof. Who uses this? The Bushmen in South Africa use global positioning systems to transmit data about endangered animals to conservationists. A coordinate proof is a proof that uses coordinate geometry and algebra. In a coordinate proof, the first step is to position a figure in a plane. There are several ways you can do this to make your proof easier. You can keep your figure in the first quadrant. You can center your figure at the origin, so put the center at the origin. You can center a side of the figure at the origin. So notice how it's just kind of sitting on top of the x-axis here, and then it's cut in half here. Or you can use one or both of the axes as the sides of a figure. Personally, I like that one a lot. So let's look at positioning each figure in the coordinate plane and give the coordinates of each vertex. So when we're looking at this one here, we have a square with side lengths of six units. Notice it's not going to fit in the first quadrant. You can't sit it on top of the x-axis. So the only way you're going to be able to fit this on this grid is to center it at the origin. So since it's six units, we can go three units to the left and the right, and then three units to the top and bottom, and that will give us a total side length of six. And then you can just kind of draw in your square there. And don't forget to label your coordinates. So we have negative 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, negative 3, and negative 3, negative 3. Labeling your coordinates is a good habit to get into because when you're trying to actually solve coordinate proofs, labeling your coordinates is definitely helpful. Let's look at another example. A right triangle with leg lengths of 3 units and 4 units. For this one, because it's a right triangle, I suggest using your origin and your x and y axis to help you create that right angle. So your origin will be one of your coordinates. And then you have one leg length of 3 units and the other of 4. So then you can simply draw in your triangle. And then label your coordinates. So we've got 0, 3 and 4, 0. Try this next one on your own. So you're going to want to pause the video, and then when you come back, an answer will be revealed. Alright, you can prove that a statement about a figure is true without even knowing the side lengths. To do this, assign variables as the coordinates of the vertices. So instead of assigning a numerical value, you'll now have variables. You'll always know that your origin is always 0, 0, and as you're going up your y-axis, your x will be 0, and as you're going across your x-axis, your y will be 0. So you will have some values in there. Alright, so let's look at this example. A right triangle with leg lengths S and T. So we're going to start at our origin, and we have a right triangle, so we have one coordinate 0, 0, and then we don't necessarily know what S and T are. So as we come up this way, well maybe this spot right here, we'll label it as S. So that one is S, and then coming across your X axis here, maybe that one's T. Let's try another one for practice. A square with side lengths k. Okay, so now you'll have your origin, and then your side lengths are k. So coming up here, this is going to be 0, k. And across your x-axis, that's going to be k, 0. But you also have another point up here that we can label, because, well, our x is labeled as x, and our y is also known to be x coming across. You can use these ideas to write an actual proof here. So write a proof using coordinate geometry. So you're given 
that you have a right triangle, ABC, and it has the vertices 0, 6, 0, 0, and 4, 0. And D is the midpoint of AC. It's telling us that we should prove that the area of triangle DBC is half the area of triangle ABC. All right, well, let's start with the fact that we know that the area of triangle ABC, I'm going to just thin the pen out a little bit, is equal to one half your base times your height, which is then equal to one half four times six, which gives you 12 square units. So now we need to figure out the area of our other triangle. But we need to know what this point is, so we can use our midpoint formula. So using the midpoint formula, we have the fact that D is at the coordinate 2, 3. So since D is at the coordinate of 2, 3, we can use the same idea for the area of triangle DBC. We can utilize 1 half, our base which is 4, and the height which is 3, and that gives us 6. And 6 is in half, half, in fact, half of 12. So since 6 equals 1 half of 12, triangle DBC equals 1 half the area of triangle ABC. And that completes our lesson on Introduction to Coordinate Proof.